Hello and welcome to the uh, video for this Lumix, Panasonic Lumix mirrorless camera, Micro Four Thirds, uh, GX800 uh, or DCGX800 I think is the full name for it. And just to um, to help its listing on eBay, I've done this video just to uh, show what it's all about. So, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a couple of uh, USB leads. They're both practically the same, except the white one just does charging and the black one does charging and USB data transfer. There's a little slot in there for you to pop the uh, lead into. And the camera, <clears throat> excuse me, the camera has a charging circuit inside and a little LED illuminates to show it's charging. And it is an eight volt battery in there as well. So it's a bit better than you get in your Canons, which are only 3.6 volts. So um, it's got a bit more go. Uh, so you can charge it also using a power bank. If you're out and about, you can stop for a coffee, plug it into a power bank, or if you can find a USB slot, give it a bit more of a boost on the battery. Uh, lens cap, a little bit of a scuff on there, but nothing much to worry about. Uh, in the camera, it comes with a 32 gigabyte micro SD card, and that is the adapter to be able to plug it into your computer. But as I say, it's much more easy to use a data transfer lead because these micro SD cards are very small and they ping out and you can't find them and if you're outside you will drop it and it could be lost you don't want to do that uh, camera strap shoulder strap Lumix band branded so all very nice um, tripod for uh, desktop use and for video use so fold the legs in not a fan of straps to be honest with you I'm annoyed about them uh, they get in the way but uh, let's just uh, focus up on our Little object, I expect the uh, zoom is out too far. So, in video mode, of course, it will auto focus on anything that's within its range, and also, of course, it will flip up so you can hold the camera at arm's length and you can see me videoing you there. <laughs> okay, with my hat with my light on as well. So, let's just remove it from the tripod and we'll show you the underside of the um, sensor. It's going to be awfully boring this if you're not interested in this. Uh, in this item but it is a damn good little camera and the lens is very good as well it's uh, not a bad little lens at all uh, f3.5 to 5.6 at its widest and then the stowaway part is quite nice as well so it collapses down to, almost, to, a, to a pancake lens basically and then to get it going you just pull it across and you've got your 12 at the widest up to 32 and uh, it also has built-in optical stabilization which is great we also have a built-in flash. We've got 4K dedicated buttons for record. Uh, post focus as well, which is nice. Uh, the condition of the screen is great. Folds up and down nicely. Very fluid movement. The serial number, model number, DCGX800. There's the micro SD card. I won't ping it out because it will probably fly out and I'll lose it, but eight volt battery, lovely. Metal tripod mount. Rotating wheels and dials, buttons, buttons, mode dials, and on and off switch. So uh, you must remember, if you're a, a compact camera user, this is normally your zoom, um, and uh, you'll keep turning the camera on and off. But uh, it's the on and off switch on this one, and another 4K uh, dedicated button. No manual focus, just um, zoom on the lens and auto focus with the camera. So if you like. Um, doing manual focus i think you can do a manual focus on the uh, ring here and i'm pretty sure it's got peaking uh, software as well to highlight focused areas uh, but yeah competent little camera nice and small um, with the strap a couple of charging cables and data cable with the adapter with its lens cap that just pops on really nicely and with the storage and i think that's about it tripod as well Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.